Hi, I'm Emily and this is the Fashion Run-Up and today we're going to be talking about how to adjust the shoulder seams of a shirt. I've done two previous videos of this before and I had a lot of people asking about how do you also alter the chest, basically make the chest smaller as well. So they need the shoulders smaller but they also need the chest narrower as well. So I'm going to show you a way to how we're going to make the shoulders narrower so that the shoulder seams sit on your shoulder, on your true shoulder. And we're also going to like narrow the chest in the same, basically in the same seam that we're making. So this video is basically all about how to adjust the shoulder seams of a shirt. I'm going to use a men's shirt, so it's also basically altering a men's shirt to fit a woman. It's also going to be how to alter a shirt without cutting it. So we're not going to cut the shirt at all. So if you don't like the alteration that you made, you can just take out the seams and the shirt's going to be back to normal. This is sort of my preferred way of fixing garments in general. I don't like to cut them just in case I want to go back to the original garment. So we're going to basically adjust a shirt that's too big, focusing on the, uh, sh the shoulders and the chest width to make those fit really well. If you're excited to see this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when new videos come out every week more or less i'm aiming for thursdays around noon so watch for new videos then you can also follow me on instagram at emily keller co where i post lots of other fun fashion related stuff just in more picture form all right let's get started so this is the shirt that we're going to alter i'm going to start with just this shoulder here down into the chest on the right side of the garment so basically what I'm going to do, I already marked a pin right here. This pin is going to be where I stop my seam that I'm going to take in. So I think I'm just going to leave kind of like a little dart tuck right there. And then it's going to just flare out into the original fabric or the original width. So this is my natural waist. I marked it there while I was trying on the shirt. And um, then it's just going to flare out into the hip area as this is going to stay the same width down here. It's just going to be about one inch narrower on the flat, one inch narrower through from the shoulder down through here, down through the chest. So the chest circumference is actually going to end up being four inches smaller because it's on the round. But on the flat, it's just going to be two inches narrower, one inch here, one inch here, but four inches total. And here on the shoulder, it's going to be one inch on one shoulder, one inch on the other shoulder. And the reason I'm only doing one inch is because we have a bit of a pocket limitation. Because there's a pocket here, we couldn't take um, like a center shoulder dart, which is what I kind of did on previous videos. I did a dart here and I kind of went down to here and stopped it. And that's kind of how I narrowed the shoulder on the front and on the back. Put a dart down the back and then you kind of stop it there. But here, because we're also narrowing the chest, we need to take that seam, whatever seam we make or dart that we make, needs to go much lower. So if you don't have pockets, you could do a seam that is in the center of the shoulder and you could actually basically make it a princess seam. You could go all the way down to the waist, straight down kind of the center apex or the center bust um, to the waist. And it, honestly, if the hip is wide too, you could keep that dart seam that you're making go all the way down to the hip if if the hip is also too wide for me on this shirt the hip is not too wide uh, so that's why i'm stopping i'm going to stop it right here and just have a little dart tuck ending right there but yeah so i'm going to take the shoulder and an inch here we're going to go straight through here this pocket is going to end up being kind of right next to the armhole this is kind of where we're going to take it in right along the pocket like that and we're gonna stop it right at that pin and we're gonna have a cute little like tuck like that kind of coming out. So the pocket's going to be like that and the seam is just kind of gonna, gonna kind of go up, up, up. We're gonna kind of pin it like that first. So I'm just going to say, all right, we're going to mark this from, from the seam an inch over. So we're gonna put, just put a pin right there. From here, let's say an inch over that way since the pocket's gonna be sort of our anchor point an inch over is actually going to be here, not quite not quite all the way to the seam. So that's going to be an inch over, that's an inch over. So our inches from here to here, our inches from here to here, and then let's see. Same thing actually down here. Let's mark another one at the bottom of the pocket here, and inches from there to there. Okay, so 
So an inch is from here to here. That's going to get hidden underneath. And then we're just going to stop it about at this level point. So yeah, that works. We just marked it there. That's just kind of our vertical point, wherever that is. So we can kind of follow the grain, I would say, about here. If I follow the grain, let's, let's stop it at that point. OK. OK, good. So I'm just going to kind of fold it, maybe fold it under, and then re repin it uh, folded. So we're going to go on the inside and just kind of start pinning how we're going to fold these, how we're going to sew it. And actually, that's just the front. We also need to do this to the back. And I'm going to look at the front, and I'm going to mark the same positions as we marked on the front on the back. So about two, two and a half inches, and then we go over a quarter of an inch. So let's try that. Two and a half inches, two and a half here, and then over a quarter of an inch is about here. And then we'll do one inch over from that. That's about here. Okay, so those are our two points from the seam. About two and a half inches down, two and a half inches down, and about two inches in. So let's mark that same thing on the back. Two, two and a half inches down, we're about there, and then two inches in straight. I'm just kind of following straight on the grain to know where I'm going. We'll go right there. Good. And then one inch over from that is kind of the end of the pocket, so we'll mark that. One inch over from that. Okay, that's our one inch start here. And then we're stopping it. We'll stop at the same place as the front because again, that's my natural waistline. One, two, three, four inches below the bottom seam. Two and three quarter inches over. Four inches down, two and three quarter inches over. So those are our pins on the back sort of indicate from the shoulder down, indicating where we're going to be taking in our dart. What I did was I followed the grain of the fabric because sewing is just easier if you follow the grain of the fabric. So I kind of chose our narrowest point here, kind of here. The pocket on the front is a sort of an anchor point. So this line, I followed the grain straight up. So I say, okay, an inch here, that's gonna be here to here roughly. That's a little bit less than an inch, but that's fine. That's all kind of we have room for in the armhole. And then it, I kind of followed the grain straight up to the shoulder, which is about here. So you get off of the shoulder a little bit, and I went an inch over. So this inch is what we're going to get rid of here, 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 boom. And then we're going to end it at my, uh, at my natural waist, which is there. And then on the back, so this will just create a really nice straight dart with none of that crazy rippling that can happen when you kind of go on the bias and you kind of sew... With darts, they can get really sort of twisty and wavy if you sew like off the grain. So we're gonna try to keep this dart really on the grain. And I did the same thing for the back where I kind of found the narrowest point. On the back, we don't have the pocket as an anchor, which is fine. So instead we are going to use, we use kind of this narrowest point here as our anchor point. We said, okay, an inch over from this. And then I went up the grain which is here and an inch over. So that's the inch we're gonna get rid of here, here. And then I went da straight down the grain to here and that's an inch over. Straight down the grain, an inch over. So this is the inch that we're going to get rid of. And then we're gonna stop it at my natural waist, which is that bottom pin right there. So I'm gonna sew that all the on both so the front and the back and we're gonna see how that looks. You can see here the seam that I made that kind of goes all over the shoulder. It goes down the side of the pocket here. And it turns into, point this down. 
little like side dart tucks right here so it flares out where the hip is so the hip stays the same width but we took in the chest and we took in the shoulders so now the shoulders fit a lot better where my shoulders are yeah and then you just get that little design detail like these little um, dark tucks underneath that's the back Yeah, that's basically, you can kind of see the seam down from here, it goes down. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and this alteration, I hope that you give it a try and let me know how it goes. Uh, if you do it, take a picture of it and tag me on Instagram so I can see how it turned out. And you can follow me at Emily Keller CO on Instagram. And I post lots of other fun stuff in picture form that is fashion related. And uh, give this video a like, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. Hopefully every week, every like Thursday around noon is what I'm shooting for, so look for videos then. Every weekend, you know, if you watch videos on the weekend, you should have a new one to watch every weekend. Thanks for watching and I hope you like this DIY shoulder and chest width alteration with no cutting. Thanks!